Hey everybody, Shadowcon Maximus here, back for another Transformers video review. This time I'm coming at you with Transformers Animated Sentinel Prime. Now, Sentinel Prime is based upon a conventional Earth vehicle, according to Sentinel Prime. Now, the one thing that I I totally think is funny about Sentinel Prime is how stupid he actually is. You know, he has intelligence, but, you know, his arrogance, his... The way he refuses to listen, he's a bit of a coward. You know, it, it's amusing to think, you know, how the hell did he get in the Elite Guard forces of the Autobot ranks? I mean, you know. But anyway, he is based upon a snowplow truck. Now, he thinks that a snowplow truck is a conventional vehicle. He... He scans some vehicles on Earth, and he says to Ultra Magnus that I've scanned some um, some conventional Earth vehicles, so we won't draw attention to ourselves. And he picks the most ridiculous vehicles for them. He picks a snowplow truck for himself. He picks a missile carrier for Ultra Magnus, and he picks like a super futuristic porch for Jazz. So, you know, Jazz has the futuristic porch, Sentinel Prime is the snowplow truck, and Ultra Magnus is the missile carrier truck. Very conventional, Sentinel Prime, very conventional. But anyway, Sentinel Prime's colour scheme is blue, orange, yellow, black. Very nice detailing. I really wish this would have been a bigger size scale, maybe Voyager, because Sentinel Prime has a big rivalry with Optimus Prime um, in the in the show and the way they look in the show they look around the same height as each other which doesn't really um, look as accurate with the toys um, so I really wish that this was a Voyager class figure um, that's all that I'm gonna say but anyway he does come with two weapons which is a shield and a spear now the spear was actually made by Headmaster when um, Headmaster took over Sentinel Prime's body and he upgraded his shield to actually have these spikes but the main weapon that Sentinel Prime has is the shield he has the shield um, as like a super it's like a super energy shield but you know the spear is nice for you know it gives him something to attack with and I'm really glad that they did include this with the figure. Now, you can attach these together to actually go on the top of Sentinel Prime. And, you know, it looks kind of odd. It looks like a very awkward umbrella on top of a snowplow truck. But anyway, let's get rid of that. And let's move on to the transformation. But before I actually get into what we need to do first, you, you see this plow? It actually has the. Um, it actually goes left and right, which is really nice. It, you know, it has nice pivoting movement, no um, awkward, like, chunks in movement, you know, and it's really nice. But anyway, what we need to do is just split this apart first. 
and fold them out to the side. Then we want to take this entire cab section and pull this back. You'll find that the window is separate from this actual piece and you'll just connect this on the back like so. Then you want to detach the doors from the actual side of the vehicle like so which can be a little bit difficult to do sometimes there we go and we just want to straighten out these legs here and just twist it round and then you want to bring these arms up and peg them into the side of these wheels you might have to rotate the wheels a bit just to get the clip in because the clip is actually designed to go in the little holes at the side of the wheel and get the arms into place split the legs apart and pull up the head and then just rotate these pieces down to make these little shoulder pads and there we have Sentinel Prime in robot mode and if you look closely at his face you can see that he has a very accurate um, expression you know it's like the person who has an ego who doesn't give a um, doesn't give a care in the world what anybody thinks but it's kind of amusing on how this character was based on the tick it this character was actually based upon the tick in the face design and and it also looks a bit like Buzz Lightyear with the chin sticking out and you know I just think it's hilarious on how it looks like an insect I mean he's even got these little things at the side which are like little exhaust pipes and they actually look like little an an antennas for an insect or whatever feelers or whatever uh, but anyway articulation the legs can move in and out from the body and bend at the knee arms can move in and out from the body bend at the elbow head can rotate 360 degrees uh, pivots up and down as well as left and right no waist articulation um, that's really it for articulation and um, you know, it, it is a pretty good figure. Um, overall, I would have to give it a reasonable um, 7 out of 10. I highly suggest that you pick this figure up. You know, he may be a little bit small, but, you know, he is actually a good deluxe. And he does have a fun transformation. Um, so, anyway... This is ShadowCon Maximus, and I am signing off.